Ready? Yep. All right. I was wondering why there was chicken sitting on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> it's just out on the counter. Lift it. <laughs> Anybody yeah. want a bite? That's, that's so refreshing. So we know raw chicken is full of all sorts of things that can make us sick. Um, these are chemical protein testers that are sold from a company called Hygiena. You can look on Amazon. They sell them there. And they detect proteins on surfaces throughout whatever, just to see if there's a protein. Now, proteins are smaller than germs. So we're going to see what happens, and we're just going to kind of smear it around here, get some on the countertop, because, you know, that's what our children do, or, you know, it, like, falls off the the, the cutting board. Yeah, the cutting board or falls off. And so there's a significant amount of protein there, and I'm going to show you that, yes, it's definitely there. So I'm just going to swab the area. And if it turns purple in solution, it shows that, yes, it detected that there is proteins on your surface, which I'm sure you can see that there is because I just smeared chicken everywhere. Okay. So you break this and put some of the chemicals. And you can see that purple shows that there are proteins there. Okay. So significant amount of proteins. Can you see that? Gross. Okay. So we're going to put the chicken away, and I'm going to use my Norwex cloth that I just got wet with just water, and I'm going to just wipe it up. Just wipe it up nice and good, and then I'm going to take the same cloth, wipe over here. What typically happens over here? You just smears it. I just smeared it, and I just made us sick in two spots. So now we're going to test with a different, exact same tester, just a clean one, to see what happened in my area. So I'm testing over here, and I'm testing over here to see, did it smear? Did it go anywhere? And if you can see the color, it turned green. Green detects that there are no proteins. So when, I took them literally when I was shown the cloth, that it doesn't transfer from place to place. I cleaned everything with my little cloth, and then I would rinse it out good, now, I would wash my face with it at night, and people are like, gross, and I'm like, yeah, but my skin is very sensitive, and did I have any breakouts? Zero. None. So, not only the chemical test proves it, but my face proved it, that it really cleaned with only water, so I love that. All right, I'm going to do one more test to show you, and that's what I love about these cloths. You just rinse them, rub them out. Squeeze them out and then you hang them up to dry and then they clean out real good. Okay, so I told you I was skeptical and I thought, I'm going to prove that this doesn't work. So, Sarah, do you mind grabbing me with Clorox wipes over there? Mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to compare the two. I'm going to see which is better, my Clorox wipes or my Enviro cloth. Um, I like Clorox wipes. How many of you have several boxes of those at home? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you just How many of you? School. To the school. Yeah. <laughs> How many of you have read the label on the outside of it? How we're supposed to be using it? It says, to clean, wipe surface to be disinfected, use enough wipes for the surface to remain visibly wet for four minutes. I don't do that. My children don't do that. I tell them to go clean the bathroom and they go, la, 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 and that was it. And so four minutes worth, of, how many Clorox wipes is that, especially in a dry climate like what we have? That's a lot of Clorox wipes. Plus, this is just a test to see does it really work. So, we know that the chemical proteins were gone. I want to see if what looks clean really is clean. This is called glow germ powder. Um, health professionals use it to teach you how to wash your hands correctly. You just put it, the powder on, you wash your hands, you're like, oh yeah, my hands are good, and then you put the black light underneath it and it'll light up things you can't see which are there. So, I'm going to show you guys how effective this is with our eyes. We need to close the line so that it works good. So, I'm just wetting down the surface. We'll just use a piece of chicken since it's here. And this is a little glow germ powder we got. And I'm just going to kind of rub it onto the surface. Is this plugged in? No, the plug's on the other side. Other side. Let's put that in. Okay. So I put the blow drum powder on the countertop, and we're just going to see, is it there? 
Okay. Nice and glowy, lots of yuck right So there. are your fingers. So are my fingers. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and turn that light back on. So we're going to take Clorox wipe. We're going to do the Clorox wipe over here. I'm just going to wipe it off like that, okay? It's clean. I'm going to take the Norwex cloth and wipe on this side, okay? I didn't push any harder. I didn't do any extra. It's just I tried it out. Glowing. All right, so let's see which cleaned better. Lights, please. So when I saw this, I was like, I am so frustrated because I put so much faith in my Clorox wipes and how they just smear everywhere. Is this one like, too? Yes, and so you can see how much okay. this cloth picked up, how much it picked up all off of the surface. So it does a significantly better job of picking up with only water. And I didn't spend any time going to the store. I didn't spend time on product. Um, this has lots of hazards that it says, don't let your children touch it. Don't put it on their hands. Don't eat after it. Don't put it on food things. So there's a lot of things I don't like about the Clorox wipe, but I do love the Norwox cloths. So let's go back over here and I will 